I'm getting ready to start working on the next layout in the little paper bag album and I'm going to start by making just a quick little photo mat to go between the two paper bag bases that we glued together um, in the first part. And now I'm going to use this um, checked paper, this gingham paper uh, as a photo mat and I'm just going to give it a little border and the border is going to be straight on three sides and doily on the on one so i'm going to punch the edge of the photo mat with the martha stewart doily doily lace punch and then i'm going to go around the edges with the yellow ink that i've been using throughout the album and i'm going to adhere it down and when i cut it out it'll have one eighth inch um straight edge on three of the sides and then on the fourth it has that doily there and I'm going to um, pop it up with dimensional adhesive to turn it into a pocket because I'm going to be sticking um, three photo mats underneath it and so I need it lifted off the page a little bit and I didn't make uh, I didn't put dimensional adhesive at the back because there's no risk of the photo mats going all the way through and you'll see why when um, when we actually make the photo mats. So I'm just going to do some stamping and I've been using a lot of white cardstock throughout this album. I like um, how it kind of brightens it up and keeps it from looking too dark and too distressed. So I just stamped that sentiment on a white strip of paper and now I'm using a square punch to make the edges fishtailed like a pennant and that's um, easy to do and then I'm going to cut three white circles with my nestabilities and then three pattern paper circles with my nestabilities and I'm going to glue them back to back and that's going to form my three photo mats for this pocket. And I'm gluing a white circle on the back of each photo mat, pattern paper photo mat. And I'm going to use a acrylic stamp block to hold them down while they dry so that I can move on to the next photo mat and start gluing. And this is something I do a lot actually. I use my acrylic blocks to hold things together while they dry um, so I don't have to hold it and I can move on to the next thing. On the back of every single one of these on the white, I'm going to stamp this circle journaling spot and then all the way around I'm going to stamp this flourish. This flourish is by Kaiser Craft. From the, ch it's the stamp set is chapter one and um, I'm just going to go all the way around the edge and give it a beautiful frame in that yellow and then I'm going to go all the way around the edge of both sides with that dark charcoal ink that I've been using to frame them everything in. It's going to look really pretty um, with these flourishes and flowers. That's a really pretty journaling spot. So think about um, your journaling stamps and your flourish stamps and how you might be able to dress them up and use them together. Uh, journaling spots look really great with uh, flourishes layered over and behind them. So now that I've got all three of my circles ready to go, I'm going to punch a hole through all three of them uh, so it's in the same place. And then I'm going to add and set an eyelet. And then I'm going to glue this bow that I made with my bow easy and some seam binding. And I'm going to glue it above the eyelet. I don't want to glue it over the eyelet and I don't want to put it through the eyelet because I need to be able to swivel these tags. So the only way it's going to swivel is if the eyelet is totally free to move and then that just slips right into the pocket and the bow keeps it from going all the way through so we don't have to that's why we didn't need anything on the back so i just want to dress up the photo mat a little bit so i'm adding this little pennant and now i'm going to add some butterflies again with these 
little tiny blue butterflies from the memory box butterfly delights die i've added two here and just to unify the album and make sure all the pages have something that's similar and then we're going to just slide the photo mat right in there and um, move right on to the next little half page and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a tiny little pocket and <coughs> I want to make a two and a half inch wide pocket so in order to do that I need to score my paper at one and a half four and then one and three quarters well cut it one and three quarters after that so um, that you they overlap by a quarter of an inch and then you just basically um, the way to make this work is whatever dimension you want your pocket to be width wise say you want it to be two inches you make one flap half one flap half that width and the other flap half that width plus a quarter of an inch. So for a two inch pocket, one flap is one inch and the other flap is one and a quarter inches. And that way they overlap by a quarter inch right in the middle. And then you just fold the bottom up and you're done. And then you can make any size pocket you want. So I've made a tiny tag to go in the pocket and I just choosing a flower and I sprayed it again with the patina glimmer mist, which is the blue that matches this collection and now I'm just going to adhere it to the tag and I used a little gems flower center from K and Company and now I'm going to use red tape to stick the pocket to the paper bag flap uh, I just want something whenever I adhere a pocket to a page I want to use the red tape because I want something strong and now I've sprayed more of those white layers of flowers and I am just going to get a white one, a blue one, and a gold one. And then I'm adding a little polka dot that I cut out of the pattern paper. You can see it at the top of the page there to the center of the flower, which I glued to the pocket. And now I'm adding uh, another one of those blue, blue butterflies. And once that's down, I want to add some more text. So I'm just going to stamp three phrases on the white cardstock. And I'm going to use that yellow cadmium ink from Colorbox Fluid Chalk Ink, which is perfect for this paper collection. And I'm typing love today, seek joy and every day. So I'm going to ink the edges very carefully just by dragging the little strips of paper across the ink pad. And then I'm going to adhere them to the page which is a combination of um, foam dots and liquid glue. And this one is half and half because I'm putting liquid glue where it goes over the flower petals so that it'll all lay flat with the pop dots. So the part that's liquid glue will be adhered to the, to the flower petals. And I'm using the Beacon 3-in-1 adhesive, which is a really great liquid glue for when you need just a little bit more time than you can get from the Scotch Quick Dry. So now I've adhered the other two phrases down. And it now reads, love today, seek joy every day. And there's a little tag there. On the flip side, I have used this Nestabilities Labels. I don't know what labels that is but it's pretty unique shape I think maybe it's 11 but um, I have cut it out uh, a cut out a piece of journaling paper and then because I wanted my photo mat just slightly larger just an eighth of an inch I traced around the outside of the die and cut it out by hand as well and now I'm tied a bow and a piece of this twine from the twinery this is Caribbean blue and I've adhered that down and it works perfectly with the butterflies, which I'm also going to glue another couple butterflies to this page. The blue really pops off the orange and it gives a nice contrast with the orange and the white. 
So we're just gonna kind of frame in the journaly spot with the little butterflies. And I am going to get to work on the next page and I'm gonna make a pocket with a rolled corner. So I've cut the pattern paper I want for the pocket and now I'm gonna use my Zutter Distress It All to really rough up the edges. Um, this is a really great tool if you like a heavy distress and you don't wanna sit there with a razor for like half an hour doing it because um, it just chews up the edge really intensely, really quickly. So once it's uh, distressed my edges, I'm gonna go and hit the edges with the charcoal ink and almost all of the papers photo mats, everything in this album pretty much are inked with the Colorbox Fluid Chalk ink in charcoal. Uh, that's the ink I use the most in this album. And then after that is the yellow cadmium. So I'm just gonna roll the corner over and then I'm gonna flatten it um, out with my fingers. It'll still look rolled over, but it won't take up so much space. And now I'm adding a bow that I tied with my Bow Easy and some seam binding. And I'm actually adding a birdcage charm to the little flap piece. I'm just gluing it right underneath the twine so it looks like it's hanging from the twine. And now I'm gonna make the photo mat that goes inside the pocket. <coughs> And I'm taking an embossing folder and I'm covering it with a light gray ink. This is Gray Whale, also by Colorbox, also Fluid Chalk ink. And I'm covering one side of the embossing folder completely with this Gray Whale ink before I run it through my machine. And that way when I take out the photo mat, it's two-toned. The part where I put the ink on the embossing folder is the gray, but the rest of it is still white. And it's a really cool effect. If I put the ink on the other side of the folder, then the ink would have been debossed into the image. So uh, it's two looks out of each folder. So I've done that uh, to the photo mat. Now I'm just gonna stick it in the pocket and that's it for this layout. Thanks so much for watching.